Tuesday the 24th of January and welcome to From the South. A small opposition protest sprang up today in Caracas, blocking traffic along a main highway. Opposition leader Enrique Capriles joined the protest, calling on demonstrators to surprise the government and not allow a police response. Peruvian President Pedro Kuczynski said on Tuesday that he intends to work with China, Asia, India and other countries after US President Donald Trump pulled the United States out of the Trans-Pacific Partnership. French President Hollande will arrive later today at one of the transition zones for FARC members after last year's peace deal. Strong winds reaching speeds of 60 kilometers caused huge waves in Havana that flooded between four and five blocks and hundreds of houses. US President Donald Trump has signed an executive action to accelerate the Keystone XL and Dakota Access Pipeline project. Trump also signed a decree that American steel should be used for pipelines built in the United States. Trump said his order on pipelines will, quote, put a lot of steel workers back to work. The UK Supreme Court has ruled that Britain's plans to formally break away from the European Union will have to be approved by a parliamentary vote. This will be before Prime Minister Theresa May can trigger Article 50. Therefore, the conditions for leaving the EU will now be open to criticism and potential amendments by MPs. A planned EU-Canada free trade deal has moved closer to reality after a key committee advised the European Parliament to give its backing. This is despite months of protests and heated debate. The EU-Canada Comprehensive Economic and Trade Agreement, or CETA, still needs to be approved by the European Parliament to enter into force. Six people have died in a helicopter crash in the mountains of central Italy, according to police. The chopper came down near the ski resort of Campo Felice in thick fog during an operation to evacuate an injured skier. The region is already reeling from a series of earthquakes and last week's deadly avalanche. Residents of the Gambian capital of Banjul have expressed hope after longtime ruler Yaya Jame left the country. Jame left the country on Saturday to Equatorial Guinea after negotiations backed by regional military pressure and as West African troops were poised to remove him. Jama had refused to hand over power to now President Adama Barrow. Belgian playwright Ismail Saidi, who was exposed to radicalization in his youth, is hoping theatre will deter youngsters away from the path of extremism. The play titled Jihad is a dark comedy which attempts to analyse the causes of departure to try to prevent it.